look at this. Oh, I get for Krista and Jeffrey that we've gathered together to witness and to bless this union and marriage. Through their time together, they've come to realize that their personal dreams, their hopes, and their goals are more attainable and more meaningful through the combined effort and mutual support provided in the love and commitment and family that they have. And so they've decided to live together as husband and wife. We'd like to thank each of you for making the journey to be with them here today as they celebrate their marriage. Krista and Jeffrey have chosen you, those who are special and important to them, to witness and to celebrate the beginning of their life together. To all of you gathered here, today will be especially important to this couple. You are the loved ones and the friends that fill their lives. You are the framework that supports their world. You represent symbolically all of the people who will be touched in any way by the life of this couple. You represent their family and their friends, past, present, and future. Each of you has touched their lives in a special way, and they are honored to have you present. We've gathered in this special place to be joyful in the celebration for Krista and for Jeffrey in the new life that they now begin together. For them, this ceremony represents the start of a new chapter in their lives. Today, in front of all of us assembled here, they proclaim their love and their commitment to each other. Krista and Jeffrey, I welcome both of you to this moment in your lives and to the place that you've come to in each other's hearts. We all join with you on this day in the uniting of your souls, already attuned to one another. Today, you're surrounded by your friends and your family, all of whom have come to witness your marriage and share in the joy of this special occasion. Marriage is an intensely personal act, but in order for this couple's marriage to gain strength, to last throughout the years, their marriage must be supported by their greater society of friends and family. Today, Krista and Jeffrey will pro proclaim their love and commitment to each other, and we're here to rejoice with them and for them in the new life that they now begin with each other. All of us here celebrate with Krista and Jeff the wondrous and joyful occurrence that has already taken place in their lives and in the commitment that they make today. Many years ago, when Krista and Jeff entered this world, their mothers marveled at their perfection and they felt truly blessed. In their children, Marie Abel, Krista's mom, and Barbara Green, Jeff's mom, saw infinite potential and great hope. Their mothers guided them, they nurtured them, they educated them, and they loved them. Marie and Barbara gave all that they had to give so that Krista and Jeffrey would grow strong and independent capable of love, capable of what it is they are doing here today. 
Without these two mothers, this marriage would not be possible. Now today, because of all the love and the caring that Krista and Jeffrey received from their mothers, they're able to love and support each other. We thank their mothers and we honor them. There are three wonderful children who share in this marriage. Krista's son, Nicholas, and Jeff's children, his son, Adam, and his daughter, Samantha. Today, as this couple marries each other, they also create a new bond and a new family. The joining of their parents will have a deep influence upon Nick, Adam, and Samantha. It will both complicate and enrich their lives. Similarly, these three wonderful children have much to contribute to this new family. Together, Nicholas, Adam, and Samantha will weave a fabric of mutual health and comfort, of challenge and support, and they will help create a home and a way of life in which this new family may grow into the fullness of the best people that they can possibly be. Krista and Jeff, today you make a commitment to love and to care for each other for the rest of your lives. When two people pledge to love and care for each other in marriage, they create a unique bond that binds them closer than any spoken or written words. The strength of that bond will provide you courage in the face of adversity, joy and laughter to sustain you through times of sorrow and doubt, and love that will inspire both of you in all that you do. Today, you enter here as individuals, but you will leave here as husband and wife, blending your lives and embarking upon the grandest adventure in human interaction. The story of your lives together is still yours to write. True marriage is more than just the joining of the bonds of matrimony. It's the union of two hearts. It lives on the love that you give to each other every day and never grows old, but thrives on the joy of each new day. Remember to treat your other, remember to treat yourselves and each other with respect, and to remind yourselves often of what brought the two of you here together. Take responsibility for making the other feel safe and give the highest priority to tenderness, gentleness, and kindness that your connection deserves. When frustration, difficulty, and fear assail your relationship, as they threaten all relationships at some time or another, remember to focus on what is right between you, not just the part that seems wrong. If each of you takes responsibility for the quality of your life together, it will be marked by abundance and delight. Krista and Jeffrey, if at this time you wish to affirm your free choice to unite as partners in marriage, please indicate that now by turning to face each other, join hands, and look into each other's eyes. No human ties are more tender <laughs> and no vows are more important than those you are about to take. I'm going to ask the two of you to affirm your love and your commitment to each other out loud in front of these witnesses, your family and friends all gathered here today. The correct response is I do. <laughs> <laughs> Do you take Krista to be your wife, to have her and to hold her from this day forward, for better and for worse, for richer and for poorer, in sickness and in health, and to love and cherish her until death do you part? I do. And Krista, do you take Jeffrey to be your husband, to have him and to hold him from this day forward, for better and for worse, for richer and for poorer, in sickness and in health, and to love and to cherish him until death do you part? I do. I'm now going to ask each of you to seal the vows that you've just made to each other by the giving and the receiving of rings. The wet, not yet, Adam. The wedding, <laughs> ring. <laughs> the wedding ring has been a traditional symbol of commitment and enduring love that, like a circle, has its <coughs> end. The precious metal of gold represents the love as the most precious element of your lives. These rings are your gift to each other. You should be kind of looking at each other. <laughs> they are the outward and physical signs of an inward and spiritual bond that unites your two hearts in a love that has no end. With your rings, you seal the vows that you've just exchanged, reminding each of you about your decision to remain faithful to your promises of love and commitment. Let these rings be a symbol of a never-ending love and devoted friendship. As often as either of you looks at this symbol, I hope that you're reminded of the commitment to love each other which you formalized today. Now, Adam. <laughs> now, as a token of your love and of your deep desire to be forever united in heart and soul, you, Jeffrey, may place the ring on the finger of your bride and repeat the following as you place it on her finger. With this ring, With this ring a symbol of my love and faithfulness, a symbol of my love and faithfulness, I be wed. I be wed. Krista. 
As a token of your love and your deep desire to be forever united in heart and soul, you may place the ring on the finger of your groom and repeat the following. With this ring, with this ring, a symbol of my love and faithfulness, a symbol of my love and faithfulness, I be wed, I be wed. May these two rings symbolize the spirit of the undying love in the hearts of you both. May they always remind you that the other is always by your side. They are a visible sign of the vows which you have now made as husband and wife. Krista and Jeffrey, as you stand here in front of your family and friends, you've committed here today to share the rest of your lives with each other. You've entered this relationship as two distinct individuals, but from this day forward, your lives will be melded together. Often marriage is viewed as the coming together of two people, but in reality, marriage is much broader. As we give thanks for the love that brought Krista and Jeff together, we also recognize the children that are being united in this family. We recognize the merging of two families taking place and the additional love and responsibility that all members of this family bring to this relationship. Krista and Jeff, may you be generous in giving with each other. May your sense of humor and your devotion to one another always continue to enliven your relationship. May you appreciate and compliment each other's differences. May you always share yourself openly with friends and with family. May you respect each other's individual personality and philosophy and give each other room to grow and to fulfill each other's dreams. May you understand that neither of you is perfect. You are both subject to human frailties and may love strengthen when you fall short of each other's expectations. May this marriage last through all of your moments together so that through the triumphs and trials that lie ahead, you will feel just as happy as you do now, married and in love with one another. You ready? Yep. Krista and Jeffrey, you have openly declared your wishes to be united in marriage and in the presence of these witnesses have pledged your love to one another. You have confirmed this by the giving and the receiving of rings and by the joining of hands. By the power vested in me in the great state of New Jersey, it is my honor and my privilege to pronounce you husband and wife. Let all the people here and everywhere recognize and respect this union now and forever. We're going to conclude this ceremony with the traditional breaking of the glass. The breaking of the glass, like the commitment the two of you made today, is irrevocable and permanent. There are countless interpretations for this tradition. Some see it as the reminder of the destruction of the first temple of Jerusalem. Others say it is meant to remind us that mar marriage is as fra fragile as glass. Others still interpret this to be the last time the groom ever gets to put his foot down. <laughs> As the groom breaks the glass, I invite everyone here present to shout Mazel Tov, which means congratulations and good luck. to you for the first time ever, Krista and Jeffrey Nash. Yeah.